Hey guys, what is going on? Fritz here, and I got a pretty cool video today. First off, I want to say thanks for 1,500 subscribers. It's a big number. I love it. And uh, today we're going to learn how to do this. So you all know that you can motion track in uh, Adobe After Effects, right? So uh, basically, this is it. And there's something special about this motion track. Well, this isn't, you know, your ordinary map. If you notice, as this render preview, I was kind of fast, but we'll watch it again. <gasps> the text is actually, you'll see, going behind the wall. And it's really, really cool to be able to do that. You can do a lot of neat stuff. And uh, we're going to learn how to do that to make your motion track text go through a wall and how to motion track in general. So take your time. It's kind of tricky, but uh, I'm going to use the same clip, and I'm going to try to recreate the same thing. And it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go up, and I'm just going to make a new composition. Uh, everything looks good there. And I'm going to drag my clip onto here. So there we go. We can zoom in quite a bit. In the timeline just like that so there we go you can see um what we got so i don't know why this composition is a full five minutes but we don't need all that time so we're just gonna you know zoom in make our project area smaller like this and we'll do a ram preview so we can see our clip so you can see here we've got our uh, thing and it's just gonna we're gonna try to put the text right over the pickup truck like i did and um let me just say that motion tracking isn't that easy like i doubt you're gonna get it on your first try and um it's a lot easier than 3D motion tracking, though, and Bougie and everything. But, you know, this is all in After Effects. You don't need any other things. The plugin's already here. You don't need to go download, like, Magic Bullet looks or anything. Or like that. So there we go. And the wall comes in, and then we could go to a clip or something. So there we go. So now when you're motion tracking, you're going to want to find something where it's a distinct color that doesn't change or it doesn't blend in well. So, for example, um, if we were to go look and uh, track on this pebble right here or the right my hands over right there it wouldn't work because it's not uh isolated enough so what i used uh, these barrels up here could work but i thought this exhaust right here because you can see it's surrounded by a darker color and a gray color and it's not going to bump into anything if you watch the whole time it's staying there pretty still so that's what we're going to use to track so you're going to need to turn on your tracker and make sure you have it on so um, if you don't have it down here already, go up to Window and just uh, uh, check the Tracker, wherever it is, um, Audio, something, Tracker, right there. And then it should appear down here. So now we're going to just click on the, uh, bring this back to zoom in right where you want to track. So right there, because we need to work with this area. You're going to want to click on Track Motion. So click on that, and you're going to get this weird thing right here. So just zoom in. I'm going to go down, and we're going to click right on this thing here, and it's going to make a new uh, something. I don't know why it says that, but it does. And uh, we're going to bring it on to our uh, exhaust thing. And you want the X in the middle to be where the mid like the main track point. So we'll put that right in the middle. And this uh, rectangle will be the area that it's tracking, and then the outside one is the search area. So the X is the center. This is the th like the actual colors that it's uh, tracking. The outside is the search area, so if it's looking around, it'll see, okay, well, we got to follow right there. So I'm going to go back to where, where it was over the thing perfectly, and we're going to track it. And to do that, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can sort of see what's going on. So there we go. It's in the tracking zone. It's all ready to go. Just hit play right down here, analyze forward. Uh, huge thing, actually. I made a mistake. You have to make sure you're at the very beginning of when you want to track. So it's no, not that big a deal if you weren't, like I wasn't, just click on it and drag it over top of your item you're tracking. So there we go, that's good. So now you're going to want to actually do the tracking, and it's pretty easy. Just hit this check mark right here, and let it go. And you can see it's tracking our motion. So uh, just real quick, I want to say thank you so much for uh, 1,500 subscribers. It's a huge number, and I love it so much. And I uh, couldn't do it without you guys, though. And uh, this road to being a boss editor video has really helped me a lot. And if it's helping you guys, please like the video because they help me. And uh, I want to thank, you know, Sink and uh, everybody for kind of giving me the publicity that I've been getting and uh, helping me out. So, yeah, that's my sappy moment of the night. There's the clip. And you can see we have this row of dots here. And for the most part, you know, uh, we'll zoom out. You can see it's pretty straight. It stands right where it wants to. There's no really crazy ones, so we're, we're, we're pretty much we're, we're good with that one. So now we're going to want to actually do the tracking. So um, I'm going to click on my arrow tool up here. And by the way, to move around, you just use the hand tool. I don't know if I mentioned that. And the arrow tool, if you do that, it's just going to like make those 
rectangles is not going to work. So now you're going to want to go down here to this gray area, right click, hit new, and then go to null object and just leave it like that. Now you're going to want to go to edit target, make sure it says null 1 or null 2, null whatever you're on, and hit OK, and then hit apply under here, and just hit OK, you don't need to mess with anything else. And uh, it's going to bring us back to our main comp, and if we uh, zoom out, we are actually tracked, and uh, it stays on. So now we're going to need to apply the text onto it, and that's really easy to do. So I'm going to go to the main shot where I want you to read it. So I want you to be able to read the text right here. So this is where I'm going to apply it. So go up here, you can click on the text tool, and just click, and you can start typing. So I'm going to type, like, comment, subscribe. What a tool. And uh, so let's say, I'm sure you guys see people change the colors all the time. It works just like Word or whatever. You can like highlight something and I don't know. We'll make this one weird like that. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll, we'll change that right now. What we, you can make it. Uh, where were we? I don't know what I did there. All right. So uh, don't mess with that. You can, you know, make it bigger by using this button here. So now comment is big. Uh, we can just make subscribe go over here. Let's make subscribe yellow because yellow is like the subscribe button. Uh, like, we want that to be green because uh, green is like. So just highlight it, go up to color, and comment. We can make each, we can make colors each different. So let's say I want the C, I can make that one blue. And I want the O, I want that one to be white. So now a quick tip, if you want them all to be the same color, you highlight it. And instead of just kind of guesstimating where it is, you can click on this little thing here. And if you go on the map, you'll see it puts that color. So if I go over to C, it's the exact color I use. So it's really cool that way. And then white, we obviously can just go up to white because there's only one color right, white. And we're just going to do it to all the colors and click on the little turkey baster thing. And there you go. And then this one white. And then this one blue. Blue red turkey baster and then blue so that's it that's our that's the main thing that's our that's our mini motion track but we want to make it look cooler so what you're going to want to do is hit this little dot thing under the 3d and then that way if we click on uh, back on our arrow tool we can actually move it around so uh this now we can make it have the depth perception to make it go uh got to click on it first we can make it go up and move it over so I'm going to want it to be right about right there is good. It's nice and big. Everybody can read it. And uh, you can notice though it's not tracked with anything yet though. And that's kind of a big deal. So we need to change that. So you're going to go over to this uh, parent and just click on null 2. And that way from now on it will track just like a good boy. So uh, if we watch it over it's like oh that's sick. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh my god Fritz you're a ba You Fritz. It, goes, it doesn't go behind the wall. You're random. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So go to the frame right before it goes behind the wall. So that would be, I'll click on the clip so I don't have those red lines distracting me. Right here. Right there. So right, 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 blah, 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 right there. So click on your text layer. Make sure it's selected. And you're going to want to go up to your pen tool. And you can hit G on your keyboard to get there. And you're going to want to see here's the wall here. So you're going to want to click, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here at the bottom of the wall. And then I'm going to click wherever I want. It doesn't matter other than that because it's not going very far. And you can see, well, the text disappeared for its way to go. So go back to your selection tool. You don't need the pen tool anymore. And um, you can click down here on this arrow and then click on mask and then make sure inverted is selected. So that, again, arrow down, mask arrow down, and then inverted has to be selected. So now that way we can see the text. And when the thing goes over it, it will disappear. But now, if, like, you know, we did it, nothing would happen. So we got to go to transform. Or, uh, I believe it's transform. Sorry, mask, math pass, not transform. So, uh, same idea, though. Jeez. Uh, so under mask, just click the next arrow. So you have, uh, uh, this arrow, this arrow down, mask down, and then keyframe mask path, and don't touch anything down there. Go over a couple frames, and then if we just move this over, you can see it, the text disappears, and it appears like it's actually going behind the wall. So now we're going to go over a couple more frames and move this over again, and it's all automatically keyframing, guys. So that way it will it'll look good. And now we'll move over again and keep the text behind the wall because we are boss editors now. And there we go. 
And if it's not perfect, it's not that big a deal. Because I find if you have like real smart motion blur or something on like that, you can't really tell that much. And also there's like breaks and letters. So that's it. Now if we were to watch it over again, you can see we will do a quick render preview because we are pros like that. And wait for the text, wait for text. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, let me read what this says. It says, uh, that one tees a little dark, but who cares? It says, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Well, I think I might have to do that, and oh my gosh, it cut out before going over the wall. But there it is, it's going behind the wall, and it's pretty, pretty epic. In fact, we'll do a longer render preview so we can actually see it. So we're going on. Oh, look, that's a nice set of wires up the top. Oh, what does this say? Well, I better follow his orders because, you know, he's a boss. And then shh, behind the wall it goes. And um, that's basically it now. If you want to make it even a little bit more spicy, as always, just make an adjustment layer above it. And then you can add on your magic bullet look. So MBL or not MBL looks. And I'm just going to make this look so nice so you guys actually follow what I'm saying here. Because maybe, you, maybe you're not quite convinced enough yet to do all that stuff. So I'm going to go over to here. Unless After Effects decides to go any faster. Because then it wouldn't be no good. And we're just waiting for it to load, waiting for it to load, waiting for it to load. Um, basically a quick update guys. I got uh, exams, a couple FSCs. Is this thing not responding? Well you stupid idiot. Um... I got FSEs and stuff coming up, and they, they're, it's a lot of work, and I'll just close that program there, and it's a lot of work, and I got a FSE, it's like an ICU, I don't really know what it is on French, in, in, uh, in French, well that's what we call it in French, and um, basically I'm going to be a little bit inactive over the next couple days because of them, like I'll still try to post as much as I can, and hopefully you'll work now, if not I'm going to need to sort this out. Um, I'll be a little bit inactive, not to the point where you guys should unsubscribe though, because I still think you should follow what I wrote on the screen there. Anyway, I'm rambling, so imagine there is a nice looking CC there, because obviously Magic Bullet Looks does not want to work, it's been renamed or moved or, okay, well I don't know what that means. Um, obviously it's not working, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys are that much closer to being a boss editor now. Uh, I'm St. Fritz, and I'm glad I could help, so I will see you guys later.